guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching and in today's video i thought that i would show you how i did my hair i gave myself like an in-home blowout situation um very easy and it's really fast and convenient to know how to do this on your own at home if and when you need it it's always nice to get that treat of getting a hair blowout, but it's even nicer when you need to do it yourself and it's last minute and you just you have all the things right here at the tip of your hands um, and it's really easy to achieve. So I'm happy to share it with you. So I will list everything that I used uh, today in the description box below. But really quick, how I really achieved this look is just using the dry bar double shot like blow dryer. Um, this thing is super popular and it's very, very convenient. Um, it's the dry bar brand, but they just recently released I think a while ago Revlon has one that does the exact same thing so you if you don't have this tool it's totally okay there are alternatives out there um, the Revlon brand I've read over there's over 6,000 reviews just literally saying that it does the exact same thing and this runs for hundred and fifty dollars and I believe the Revlon one is I think right under 60 um, so definitely if you want to save some bucks there definitely either or they do the same job and if you don't want to do either of those you can take the old school route and use any round brush with the blow dryer and literally it does the same thing as you blow hold the blow dryer to the brush and brush your hair out um, that's essentially what this does right here so yeah if you're interested in learning how I achieve this in-home blowout really natural clean like straight finish then please continue to watch Okay guys, so I just took a shower, I did some makeup, and then my hair is wet. So I'm literally just gonna take it down and I'm gonna brush it really quickly and then I'll start blow drying it. This is the shampoo that I've been using for some time now. This is the OGX um, Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. This smells so good um, and it actually has been really helpful to my hair. It definitely feels fuller. My hair is very long, but it's very, very thin. Um, so I'm always looking for just shampoos and stuff. I don't take biotin pills or anything or anything that just really enhances your hair. Although I'd love to look into it, um, but for now I just stick to this shampoo and it's what I use. I don't use conditioner. I haven't used conditioner in years. When I did use it a long time ago, a lot of my hair would fall out and I would like brush my hair and I would lose so much hair. And so um, I just stopped using it. And I know it's not helpful because my hair gets a little tangled, but it's just I can't use it. And people recommend that you do it just like on the bottoms, but I just avoid it. I only use shampoo and that's it. Okay, so before I begin to blow dry my hair, um, I put a couple of products in it. The first thing I do is like a heat protection spray and my sister recently showed this to me. So whether you're blow drying your hair, you're straining it, you're curling it, it's really important to protect your hair from the heat um, that produces on it while you're putting those tools through it. Um, so this is from HSI Professional. It's argon oil and I just spray it all over my hair. I literally just spray it, spray it everywhere, um, on the bottoms especially. It helps prevent frizz and it helps prevent um, split ends and overall just protects it from the heat. Next I use It's a 10. Um, this is a product that's a leave-in product that you do after you wash your hair, you shampoo and condition it. Obviously I don't condition it, but this also prevents like frizziness, it prevents um, tangles, it controls frizz, it um, protects the hair color if your hair may be colored. I just spray this on here as well, mainly on the bottoms of the hair. So that's it for product that I put in um, before I blow dry and style my hair. Uh, and then I'm just gonna part it. So when I blow dry my hair and how I've been taught is to just part it down the middle or however you part it. So I'm gonna part it down the middle and then I'm gonna split it into sections. So I'm gonna leave like this first half and I'm just going to clip the rest up. I use these really cool hair clips. Um, you can get them off Amazon, you can get them at Ulta. I'll tag them below. And I need to use two because my hair is a little bit longer and it always falls through the cracks. I'm just gonna begin blow drying this like this and bringing the brush outwards like that and then I'll split it as well.
that, I'm just going to take everything that is dry and just clip it away from everything else so that it's not mixed with the, the wet hair. And then I'm going to split my back into two halves. So I'm going to take the top half and just put it up and then do the bottom half first. bottom half is done I just have my top part of my head right here and then that's it it's just four sections this part I'm going to bring the dryer upwards so there's volume in the back of my hair My hair is fully dry now with that tool you can see it's nice and straight but it's like volumed and the ends kind of have a little twist to it because with the tool what I was doing was twisting the ends out so it could flip out and you're more than welcome to just leave it like this it's like healthy looking and it's like full um, but I like to go in still because I have long layers with a hair strainer and just flip out the ends a little bit so you can really see those layers it's just another option or a curler if you want to curl over it at this point I have a hair strainer here and I'm literally just gonna quickly grab like just by section the ends not the tops but the ends and just flip it out like this just it kind of gives it like that little twist and you can see like the the twist on there and how it like defines the layers better just like that On this side, I'm just gonna flip it the opposite direction. And this part really just takes like an additional five minutes. I just, I'm really quick with it and I'm not even parting it like super fancy. I'm just like going over each section and just giving it a flip. Now, since I don't like it like really like flipped out like that, I will grab my brush and just run through it. So it looks a little bit more like bouncy and natural. Okay, so now that you can really see a lot more of the layers and like it's nice and full, we're gonna add a few more products in. This is by Color Wow. It's a performance enhancing like texture spray, similar to dry shampoo. I love volume and big hair, so as much product I can put in it to keep it like voluptuous on the top, um, I'm all for. So I take this, and dry shampoo has the same effect, so any dry shampoo that you have. Um, and I spray it in the ends, as well as like the roots of my hair. Also put some on the bottom here. Finally, this is from Dry Bar. It's a three-in-one spray. It helps with like give it that silk finish, volume as well, and just texture in your hair, especially towards the ends if you have like a little bit of split ends. I spray this on the bottom. It this is what they use at Dry Bar as well, and it works really, really well. I love it. And that is it for my in-home dry bar blowout situation. Um, very easy, it's super, this tool makes it a lot easier, but again, you don't have to result to this tool. There are plenty of different options out there, like if you were to do it, but it's just so easy and it helps make your hair look full and like clean and very just textured and volume. Um, I hope this helped um, everyone out there that needs techniques on how to do your hair at home without having to spend a bunch every time. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I'll see ya.